Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing your beautiful faces. This is all about my food adventures all the world. So today we're on a food adventure right here in New York City at the pop-up for nice day. Uh, they are a brand new Chinese restaurant here in New York City. And what I appreciate about this is it's been really cool over the past few years to experience new types of Chinese food. Um, but in my heart, in my soul, what I crave always is a very specific type of Chinese food which is New York City Chinese food, which is like what I grew up eating. So what's really cool about this spot is that not only do they have like some very traditional New York City Chinese food dishes, but they have some very cool like new school stuff as well. So we're gonna go in the kitchen. We're gonna go see some old school. We're gonna go see some new school. And I'm gonna eat Chinese food and be happy. So let's do it. Let's start my favorite dish and always a must order, the General Sao chicken. Chicken thighs that have been battered in flour and egg is put into a deep fryer where it'll get a beautiful golden color after about three to four minutes. That's then placed into a bowl with some fried chilies and tossed with their secret General Sao sauce. That is a sweet and sticky brown sauce with 12 different ingredients inside of it. That's then plated with some blanched broccoli. And now on to shrimp lo mein. Onions and bell peppers are added into a sizzling hot wok. After being tossed and caramelized, shrimp go in. Then bean sprouts. And finally the thick egg noodles. It's then hit with some savory sauce, which is their version of a Chinese brown sauce. Uh, this includes veggie oyster sauce, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, scallions, and more. Let's dig into this. Just like smelling it coming out of the kitchen was killing me that I had to wait and take photos of it. Finally, finally, finally got to eat it. Um, like salivating or like the glands are going insane and it's like six inches from my mouth. Mm, let's get a good piece here. Mm. There's something about that batter that's just like so special. Like just that really nice crunchiness on the outside, but then super tender chicken on the inside. A really nice balance there. And then like general stock chicken like is interesting. We were talking before we filmed about like the balance of like the heat to sweet. I will sort of agree that like it should be sweet forward. Just like a little tiny hit, hit of heat at the end. And that's really what it is. Like it's not a spicy dish. You can make it spicy because you eat the peppers. But at the end of the day, like it's just a nice, well-balanced, sweet flavored chicken. Mmm. Um, this chicken's legit too. Because I think sometimes you get this and it's like all batter and no chicken. Nah, this chicken's delicious. Mmm. It's my favorite. My nostalgia. I'll go to Janice Chicken and Shrimp Lo Mein. That's what we have here as our second dish. Mmm. Again, it's like everything you expect classic lo mein, but you could tell better ingredients. Like a big pet peeve of mine is like, you don't super have to use like maybe the best shrimp in this dish, but like this shrimp is really good. Mmm, already so. It's stuck to all shit. Yum. Okay, so we have the traditional, let's have the, some of the more new school takes and stuff. So we have these Cheeseburger egg rolls here. Oh my God. I mean, whew. it looks insane. It comes with like a nice little dip of some relish and some Chinese mustard. Let's give it a try here. Oof. Oh, um, it exploded all over, man. Wow, that's good. Holy God. Mmm. It like literally cheese exploded into my face. I'm very happy about that. 
really super crunchy on the outside. Great fry. What could you not love about any of this? Mmm. Mmm. It's hot though. It's very hot. Okay, and finally, a little bit of dessert. A Hong Kong style French toast, which if you've seen another video that I made, I made a whole video about how to make that. This has cocoa jam in it and some peanut butter. And it's deep fried. It looks fucking good. Let's see how best. I'm just gonna, mm, I mean, whew, yes. Oh my God. The whole thing just melts. That custard in there and the jam and the peanut butter. Oh my God. Whoa. Mmm. I'm oozing flavor. A mixture of the jam and the peanut butter and the custard in there, like in the custard that they used to. Wow. It's sweet. It's sweet. But it's good. And it's super crunchy outside. Like great fry. Wow. I'm like beyond impressed. Mm, look at it. Mmm. All right, maybe one more bite. Um. Well, that was a lot of food. I feel pretty good. Here's what I want you guys to do. Uh, hit the like button, because, you know, whatever, that helps. Uh, subscribe for more food adventures, and let me know below what you think about these dishes. Which one is your favorite? I, I don't know, they're all fucking delicious, damn. Yup.